tuberculosis is the oldest disease of uh, human race and uh, in india the skeletal tuberculosis is very common and uh, tuberculosis is a disease of maximumly involved in the low socioeconomic status and uh, i am telling why it is oldest because uh, there is a history uh, in the mummy also we uh, get found um, uh, the presence of acid parts bacilli so um, in details when we are uh, seeing a patient with this type of uh, malnutrition and this toxic look and this type of uh, malnary species then first we have to think about uh, the constitutional symptoms this is also called cachexia and cachexia may be due to tumor or may be due to <coughs> some uh, diabetes or may be due to cancer may be sarcoma or may be due to proteinergy malnutrition but main pathological uh, cause of this malnutrition or the or or uh, this type of toxic look uh, this is uh, due to tumor necrosis factor alpha and a most common uh, uh, look for tuberculosis patient and uh, that patient must be give a history of a typical evening rise of temperature night cry and there must be a palpable swelling uh, which uh, signifies the uh, presence of cold abscess and may be present with some deformity and painful swelling around the spine or uh, around uh, the joint and uh, <coughs> regarding the manifestation of the spine first we have to and uh, go in uh, embryology uh, uh, of development uh, of the spine somatom dermatom so when uh, the two adjacent area of uh, the spine is developed there uh, will come uh, in, uh, the lower half of the uh, upper spine uh, or vertebrae will uh, uh, and the upper half of the lower vertebrae uh, and the in uh, interstitial space will uh, 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 or intervertebral disc space will uh, get origin from a same somite so the blood supply of this area will, uh, will be the same so hemat uh, as this uh, tuberculosis uh, skeletal tuberculosis hematogenous spread so chance of spreading in this area is maximum and uh, so this is the most common zone or paradiscal this is called paradiscal and this is the most common zone for nephrotrophic the tuberculous bacilli and the destruction of the adjacent end plate and diminish the joint space reduction of the joint space now uh, appendicular in the posterior in, uh, in the lamina or pedicle and uh, mm, there will sometimes there will be central lesion also it can be cystic or lytic uh, or um, the collapse is very rare uh, and this is a differentiating point from the tumor the most commonly affected area is intervertebral discs if reduced then uh, you have to uh, think about tb antenna and otherwise put but if there is a lytic lesion over a, a, a single vertebrae then you have to think about uh, the metastasis or vertebral compression fracture antenna and otherwise put now anterior wall can or an anterior longitudinal ligament can be affected in that case there will be a fusiform swelling or uh, due to uh, debris there will be chance of anonymal phenomenon and synovitis of the posterior facet joint also so a special feature of the tuberculosis is night cry why because uh, during uh, that tb there will be some joint destruction or any uh, inflammation of uh, this facet joint now due to destruction of that joint and uh, there uh, the sub uh, uh, sub articular region the bone and uh, the uh, the nerve will be get exposed now in the day time due to muscle spasm the articular surface not get in touch um, uh, due to spasm now when patient uh, will be drowsy or patient will sleep Uh, and then the muscle tone will, will decrease as a result the joint space will reduce and the exposed nerve will be get irritated 
so the pain will be very severe at night so it is called night kite it is a characteristic feature for tuberculosis and <coughs> Uh, regarding the uh, spinal tuberculosis i just want to tell uh, you uh, something that you will be always secondary because max um, first uh, there will must be history of pulmonary tuberculosis so proper clinical history is very important uh, um, before going in, uh, in details uh, of the clinical examination of that patient if the patient is suffering from any cough and uh, weight loss and all and the you know, feature like hemoptosis and uh, and uh, uh, which uh, will help uh, to exclude the pi primary tuberculosis of the um, lung now uh, generally uh, due to spine involvement there uh, will be wasting of the back muscle and there may be sinus and restriction of the movement and due to back muscle spasm patient cannot flex in anteriorly so if we uh, if we tell or you ask the patient to to take a coin from the ground he will bend his knee he will hold um, uh, this knee with the support hand and he will not uh, allow um, uh, the flexion of uh, the spine uh, so this is called coin test okay now um, uh, regarding the uh mm, the neurological if uh, the spine is involved then uh, uh, the chance of extradural compression so uh, the nerve can be get get involved this is called extradural compressive myelopathy and it will signify like a belt like compression sensation and uh, mm, there will be a positive give bus and uh, uh, and uh, positive give bus means there will be a deformity over the uh, central part of the spine as per collapsing of the vertebral body and uh, with clinical examination we will get um, the wasting of the muscle and patellar clonus or ankle clonus or bricks jacks and clinically we sometimes we can get a um, uh, fluctuating mass over the posterior aspect or or anterior aspect this, this is uh, called collapses and uh, when the collapse is the collection of the product of liquefaction and rarefaction of the exudate is constant of serum leukocyte caseous material bone debris tb bacilli and um, and uh, that local temperature will not reach because there will be no inflammation so it is cold abscess but if it is get infected with pyogenic infection that um, then the local temperature will reach and some um, uh, and for the, um, uh, this cold abscess we have to know the drainage pathway uh, from from where um, the uh, the abscess will come and uh, <coughs> when we go uh, after um, proper clinical examination and history we will go the um, first we should uh, take a, a radiograph on ap and lateral view of dl spine we can see very easily that the, the reduced disc space blurring of the paradiscal margin destruction of the body uh, in the lower on vertebral end plate loss of trabeculi bony pattern and increased paravertebral disc shadow and subluxation or dislocation may be present or may not be present and there is a decrease uh, lordosis and hyposis also and um, there in is uh, a uh, uh, there is an anonymal uh, sign or badness sign or also present badness mean there uh, this small small uh, 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 artifact or uh, this uh, debris uh, is similar to the uh, um, egg of the bird and uh, due to the rip rip um, collapse it um, seems like a nest this is called badness sign and due to this anterior involvement or exuded uh, outcome this is the anonymal sign this is called anonymal sign it is found in the ap view now <coughs> uh, uh, on the uh, on the long run uh, in the tb spine we will uh, go into the bony ankylosis generally all pyogenic infection or arthritis will uh, destruction of the articular car cartilage as a result the in the synovial uh, uh, joint due to the uh, huge destruction of the articular cartilage the subcondral bone is 
गैस एक्सपोज्ड एंड द बोन विल कैन कॉज ए बोनी एंकाइलोसिस ये बोनी एंकाइलोसिस मींस इन देयर विल बी नो मूवमेंट इन द जॉइंट एंड एक्सरे वी कैन गेट ए कंटीन्यूएशन ऑफ द ट्रैबिकुली फ्रॉम वन बोन टू अनदर बोन थ्रू द जॉइंट लाइन इट्स कॉल्ड बोनी एंकाइलोसिस नाउ दिस इज मोस्ट कॉमन इन द पाइजन इंफेक्शन बट इन केस ऑफ एंड फाइबस एंकाइलोसिस इज मोस्ट कॉमन इन टीबी व्हाई बिकॉज ऑफ पैची इन्वॉल्वमेंट of the synovium and um, patchy destruction of the uh, mane hocche articular uh, uh, cartilage so fibrous tissue is more so jog of movement is there that will be very painful also so that is common in the big joint for tb but there is exception in the spine if the spine tuberculosis in, uh, occur then due to destruction of the intervertebral discs and destruction of the facet joint there uh, the chance of the compression and uh, come contact of the um, cancellous bone or um, body of the spine so in, uh, in between there is um, there is a chance of bony union or uh, the uh, as a sequel of tb destruction of the spine there is chance of um, bony ankylosis is very uh, um, uh, 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 very common sequel so this is an exception now <coughs> uh, uh the next investigation of choice is mri we can uh, go uh, um, uh, for mri ab after the x-ray it will help to delineate and uh, the uh, soft tissue involvement the nerve involvement the exudate and and um, the destruction part of the body and uh, and uh, it will uh, also help to uh, exclude any other pathology or any other disc involvement above or below of that infected spine maximum chance of dorsal lumbar junction in, um, uh, in, uh, in um, maximum chance of involvement in the dorsal lumbar junction in, is found in tuberculosis generally and uh, <coughs> as a sequel i am telling you the, the bony ankylosis will occur now after all the clinical examination Uh, when uh, we can get uh, a uh, uh, the nerve in uh, nerve compression uh, that can cause extradural compressive myelopathy extradural compressive myelopathy means in uh, the mri we can see there is a compression of the anterior aspect of the spine so as a result uh, there is a compression from the dural aspect it is extradural compression so it can cause a tumor uh, this compression can be um, done by a tumor or can be done uh, done for, for tb diabetes but in our indian scenario if there is presence of all these functional symptoms with the background of this type of um, uh, specific history of um, the um, night cry or night uh, weakness of the venereal of temperature and there is a deformity like give bus and when we can get a, a, a chance uh, of get, getting neurological involvement the uh, clinical assumption must be go, uh, go and, uh, in favor of pot spine or pot paraplegia the uh, the tb involvement of the bone uh, spine is called pot paraplegia or post paraparesis or pot spine now until unless its para um, paresis or para or neurological involvement then uh, it will call pot spine but when it uh, will uh, cause neurological um, problem that is called pots paraplegia or or paraparesis pots paraparesis now from this clinical history and the radiological investigation we um, uh, cannot go straight forward up front uh, anti tubercular drug why because uh, uh, for our medical legal aspect for uh, our uh, chance of Uh, secondary dd dd means a chance of uh, primary bone tumor is there chance of metastasis is there chance of pyogenic infection is there chance of brucellosis is there so innumerable chances of uh, uh, any other differential diagnosis but we have to think uh, uh, that tum uh, the infection first S- but for spinal tuberculosis if we Uh, go through the empirical ATT, then we can miss a a, a a if one DD. Suppose we can miss a metastasis, or we can miss an uh, one um, um, disease. Uh, it's called primary tumor. If the patient can 
कॉज एंड प्रॉब्लम और पेशेंट कैन गेट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड विथ दैट ट्यूमर पेशेंट कैन आक्स यू वाई यू हैव डोंट गो फॉर कॉन्फर्मेशन ऑफ दैट डिजीज सो रिसेंट गाइडलाइन इज सिटी गाइडेड कोर बायोप्सी बिकॉज दिस इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ आवर साइंस वी कैन गेट ए टिश्यू फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर हियर एंड वी कैन गेट इट कल्चर कॉन्फर्मेशन वी कैन गो फॉर जीन एक्सपर्ट टेस्ट वी कैन गो फॉर बैकटेक फोर ट्वेंटी और इगरा टेस्ट सो वी कैन कन्फर्म दैट इट इज ए टिबागुल इन्फेक्शन और वी ऑल्सो सेंड इट हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी टू नो द अदर पैथोलॉजी इट एन बी इफ वी सी ए ग्यारोनेशन टिश वी एंड वी कैन सी एफ एज एड बैस लाई देन वी कैन स्टार्ट आवर ट्रीटमेंट प्रोटोकॉल नाउ रिगार्डिंग द न्यूरोलॉजिकल इन्वॉल्वमेंट इफ द द न्यूरोलॉजिकल इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज इज नेग्लिजेबल मीन्स पेशेंट इज इज अन अवेयर बट डॉक्टर कैन फाइन द प्लान्टर एक्सटेंसर और एंकल कोनास दिस कॉल स्टेज वन कुमार स्टेज वन बट पेशेंट हैव सम डिफिकल्टी इन वॉकिंग एंड पेशेंट उल टेक ए सपोर्ट दैन देर विल विकनेस ऑफ द मासल सो इट इज माइल्ड देन इफ पेशेंट इज नॉन एमोटरी सो गेट थ्री पावर ऑफ द मासल एंड द पैरालस इन एक्सटेंशन एंड सेंसोइल लेस दैन फिफ्टी पार्सेंट सो द पेशेंट उल बी नॉन एमोटरी इन के और बेड रिडेन इन के केस ऑफ गेट थ्री बट वेन दिस पेशेंट गेट इन्वॉल्व उथ एनी ब्लाडर वाल इन्वॉल्वमेंट और पैरालिस मोर दैन फिफ्टी पार्सेंट दैन इट कल सीभियर दिस कल गेट फोर इन्वॉल्वमेंट सो गेट फोर मीन्स ब्लाडर वाल इन्वॉल्वमेंट गेट वन मीन्स पेशेंट कैनट एवेल बट डॉक्टर कैन फाइन गेट टू मीन्स पेशेंट उल फेल डिफिकल्ट बट कैन वाक बट इन बेड थ्री पेशेंट उल बी नन एम्बरेटरी नाउ द ट्रीटमेंट About uh, this type of pots paraplegia or pots spine may be involved uh, neurological may may not be involved non neurological. We can go for middle path regimen. Middle path regimen means we will go for both conservative as well as intervention if needed. And uh, we can go for uh, supplement of multivitamin, hemoda uh, or hematinics or high protein diet and along with the the which. follow up with investigations and all and uh, we can uh, grow a gradual mobilization of the patient in bed mobilization if we need for abscess drainage we can do that or you can go for a sinus excision or if neurological complication will increase there can go for decompression or surgical treatment now very important topic uh, regarding when we go operation in case of tuberculosis spine this is the most common uh, question asked in the post graduation or the principle of the treatment may be asked in the undergraduate student so the in surgical indication of tuberculosis spine is um, uh, if there is no recovery no sign of recovery or neurological recovery after a trial treatment at, at least one month to one point uh, one and half months of therapy it seems that drug is not working or it may be multi drug resistant tuberculosis or it may be something else it need the bridement or uh, if uh, mm, uh, the neurological complication during the treatment or if the neuro deficit become worsening or it it a recurrence of the neurological complication or the paravertebral cervical abscess or neurological sinus or there may be a difficulty in deglutition or respiration or in case of uh, if uh, there be uh, the chance of sphincter involvement uh, or facet paralysis or severe flexion spasm if uh, this is in gate 4 uh, 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 pots paraplegia a direct um, uh, indication for operation now what operation uh, we will do just know the name anterior lateral decompression and another is trans thoracic transpural decompression now for undergraduate student just know the principle is called decompression debridement drainage 
and from the dorsal vertebra okay deep compression deep bidement drainage and uh, from the dorsal vertebra now in details for postgraduation is for anterior lateral decompression now uh, mm, uh, for this there will uh, patient will be prone and there will be a carbilinear incision or minard incision is also called and we go through the anterolateral aspect we will do the costovertebrectomy and we will divide uh, and decompress uh, this uh, this spine and we will divide the dead tissue and until the face bleeding will come just take care of the sympathetic chain and uh, the veins and um, uh, if uh, this disease will collapse and probably we can uh, think that there is chan uh, we can uh, destabilize the spine so um, fixation may be needed then we can go for uh, trans thoracic or trans pleural approach we uh, put the patient on lateral position we will uh, give the incision through the uh, intercostal region we will take a graft of from that uh, rib and uh, we that uh, rib will be jab and after that we will go for one lung ventilation because this lung will be collapsed by endotracheal tube by one lung ventilation by the anesthesia and we will go through the, the spinal gutter we will do the debridement and we will put a thoracic cage thoracic cage means on type of special instrument made by titanium it will help to maintain the height of the body vertebral body and instrumentation means pedicular screw we will uh, put pedicular screw one uh, uh, one um, uh, uh, space above and one space below through this this pedicle and we will put a, a rod intercarnical rod and in between we will put the thoracic cage and for putting this thoracic cage in between this th thoracic cage it is a cylindrical uh, just metallic uh, structure which help to maintain this gap and uh, we can put uh, or uh, we can fill this uh, cavity with that rib uh, graft we can nibble the rib and we will put in this cage and we will maintain a bony ankylosis well and st stabilize this but it um, is intraoperative precision by ne neurosurgeon that is definitely needed or not if we think that uh, only anti de anti decompression is enough then it is good now <coughs> regarding the tb hip tb is tb hip also come as a short note or longest in the um, in the exam purpose the tb hip is the most common uh, joint involvement and initial focus is the roof of the acetabulum in the most common then epiphysis of the head then the greater tobenda then the babcock triangle the babcock triangle is a triangle just below the neck and generally it uh, again osteoarticular tuberculosis is secondary always come from uh, any primary source through hematogenous hematogenous um, root now uh, the radiology will suggest that will be uh, um, after a clinical examination of uh, the limp painful limping and the tb uh, history of tb co contact or active tuberculosis is there there will be anterior hip point uh, anterior hip will be tender and the whole range of motion will be um, uh, difficult and uh, on radiology there will be reduction of the joint space and um, the destruction both um, from the acerebral aspect and both from the um, uh, bony um, femoral aspect there will be irregular or fuzzy margin now there are uh, two, uh, th three to four stages of tuberculosis of the hip um, uh, due to inflammation synovitis the, uh, the joint will take maximum position so it will take maximum position on extension or uh, in abduction or external 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 rotation so uh, the uh, the hip will get uh, flex abducted and externally rotated now uh, the soft tissue swelling also present in the x-ray and apparent lengthening will be there in stage 2 apparent uh, shortening will be there and uh, uh, due to articular damage and x-ray will show osteopenia and normal joint space still and in case of uh, advanced case that will be apparent 
shortening again and all the exaggerated um, finding and severity of these symptoms and joint swell will be reduced in the long run case if the destruction is more loss then the hip ca can be dislocated this can call ulnaring acetabulum or destruction of the joint now uh, there uh, is uh, one type of uh, destruction is uh, destruction of the whole acetabulum and the head of the uh, of the uh, femur will be uh, very small this is called motten and pastel type of deformity and uh, as per destruction uh, there uh, is seven type of destruction or uh, and the outcome of uh, after the tb hip is called uh, is um, described by samungda sundaram classification it is normal then this is called traveling acetabulum then it is dislocating acetabulum then one type of parthis type of because uh, sometimes there is a metaphyseal mm -hmm, cyst broadening of the neck and head subluxation of the mm, neck this uh, so it seems to be uh, like part is radiologically so it is part third type of tuberculosis then uh, one can cause a portusi acetabuli the inversion of the uh, head through the uh, acetabulum floor is a portusi acetabuli then there may be atrophic of the joint this, this is atrophic type and lastly mortal and pastel type now treatment protocol as per uh, treatment protocol of tuberculosis again the early diagnosis is the most important and uh, for good outcome if we uh, suspect a case of tuberculosis in the early stage we should uh, um, go for hip aspiration and we will go through anterocyte or through the gt on the cm then we can uh, uh, do the st uh, stage physiotherapy and we can start the att and we can put the patient in traction uh, in absolute bed rest but um, we can go for physiotherapy also now in advanced arthritis cases we can go for debindment of that joint and sometimes when it is get dislocated then we should uh, in the uh, in maximum uh, the uh, patient is suffering uh, from that dislocated hip or any joint destruction is in the child in the pediatric age group so what can we do we can go for arthrodesis or we can go for only deep bindment or we can allow um, the movement it will help in long long run for a pseudoarthrosis of the joint or if it is dislocated and it is, uh, hip is unstable then we can uh, do uh, a splitting of the uh, uh, the iliac bone and we make uh, it a room uh, and we make a shelf over um, the acetabular uh, roof and we can put a bone graft here this is called tectoplasty this is the latest technique and reconstruction method in the dislocated type of hip in the long run in, th in the pediatric age group but in case of in, in the adult uh, we in the, the main issue is painful hip so we can go for only debridement and excision arthropathy it's called garden stone arthropathy it is arthropathy it is best for our layman because they want to squat or do a ma maximum thing uh, for uh, mm, uh, this uh, um, for those patient the garden stone arthropathy is very good option now the treatment all the skeletal tuberculosis must be uh, refer uh, through the dot center and, uh, and uh, all the new cases must be and uh, start cat one and if it is multi drug resistant then uh, you have to uh, start multi drug resistant drug th therapy or it is any case of relapse we can go for cat two but cat three is totally obsolete now and uh, the contribution phase must be minimum 12 uh, months up to 18 months as per MRI finding every six months if the disease decreases then we can stop it or in uh, the activity or clinical examination is, uh, we, we, we can get a good result or uh, good feel of uh, well-being of that patient and uh, no uh, all the um, elevation of, of all the symptoms then we can stop it in 12 months but um, uh, up to 18 months we uh, must give uh, this treatment and uh, we should um, continue this dra um, drug role dose and plus please mug up that dose before going in the exam regarding uh, the new anti tubercular drug you must keep in mind that uh, moxifoxacin linajurid and uh, mm, biraculin and dila 
man need are uh, the new antitubercular drug and recently amoxicillin carbonic acid has also uh, have an effect uh, on uh, antitubercular uh, as antitubercular drug and so you have to just um, go through or uh, all the second line of treatment management beginning from uh, the ethanomide cyclosporine thiacetazon and all uh, the fluoroquinones um, along with um, uh, this azithromycin and cryptomycin and um, the rifabutin is the latest injectable drug and uh, <coughs> um, uh, it may um, ask about um, and, and, uh, yeah, manages or not also now uh, that tb knee the tb knee actually uh, also uh, secondary to pulmonary tuberculosis and due to affection of big joint patient uh, for long term uh, patient uh, uh, get difficulty for walking and, and uh, due to damage irregular damage of articular cartilage there is a fibrous angiolosis of the knee the restriction of the movement and uh, that will be in full and uh, due to joint destruction uh, and mm, there uh, there will be uh, hams, uh, pain uh, over um, the knee joint and to get rid of that pain patient will try to flex the knee and due to spasm of the hamstring now due to spasm of the hamstring the, um, the tibia will get externally loaded and posteriorly subluxated this as a total is called triple deformity of the knee joint and it may also found in rheumatoid arthritis, in lutebial band contacture, in polio, in low uh, clotting power and excessive bleeding like hemophilia. Also, we can get a triple deformity. And now, uh, uh, if we uh, go uh, in details uh, for diagnosis uh, of this TB and uh, we can get uh, this type of picture in clinical. This is also called frame knee and uh, after biopsy confirm if uh, mm, uh, we need a painless stable knee so uh, after debridement uh, of uh, the eroded margin of the mm, bone mm, bone and uh, mm, uh, the debridement of this synovium we can uh, go uh, for arthrodesis that is will be the wise and best mm, treatment for tb knee because in uh, mm, implantation or uh, doing a TKR uh, is uh, very difficult because uh, yeah, before that we have to uh, mm, uh, give your ATT and there is mm, um, the, the data of getting success or successful TKR uh, after TB is very less. So better mm, mm, uh, play safe and we should go for arthrodesis and this uh, special instrument is called charle arthrodesis uh, clamp this is in a in, uh, statement pin like or denham spin like in the screw that uh, go through the bone and in the same he, um, here and there will be a, a compression device both the side and it will give the compression over the raw area and, and the bone will um, the joint will fuse and in the long term it will go in the bony union so painless stable hip is uh, our the main um, salvage procedure we can do for tb knee now same thing uh, if uh, it occur in the um, uh, shoulder joint that due to destruction of the articular cartilage and the glenoid the, um, uh, and uh, there will um, uh, is uh, there will be a um, very less amount uh, of uh, chance of ankylosis uh, and uh, we can call it as a kerisika because uh, the joint uh, uh, was dry so uh, this is a special uh, involvement of uh, shoulder in case of tb kerisika and uh, also we can get in the case uh, like uh, tubercular dactylitis or it is also called spina ventusa the name spina ventusa not related with the spine it is that um, the tuberculosis affected in the phalanx bones and um, again the treatment is um, uh, you can do um, debridement and 
plus minus grafting so <coughs> the um, uh, along with the, the ATT so diagnosis of the TB is uh, very um, uh, uh, um, difficult uh, if uh, we get this type of absurd uh, presentation but if we follow our normal mm, protocol as a case like um, clinical history radiology and clinical radiological correlation then biopsy then we can mm, manage it easily and last but not the least there is a topic is called sarcoid joint i put this slide because um, sarcoid joint may be asked as an exam um, question so um, just go through this um, topic is also called neuropathic joint the cause of sarcoid joint most common is diabetes then alcoholism syphilis leprosy or Hansen disease meningomyelitis spinal cord injury syringomyelia is one special type of tumor growing in the cervical spine um, generally from the central gland and it can cause um, the neuropathy and uh, joint destruction is called syringomyelia and it also associated with Belakava um, anesthesia over uh, the neck and shoulder region. And um, uh, the uh, uh, <coughs> due to this long uh, um, neurologic, uh, um, the pathologic, uh, the pathophysiology uh, behind this circuit joint is loss of proprioception and deep sensation and leads to recurrent trauma which unlimitedly leads to progressive destruction, degeneration and disorganization of the joint mm, and uh, uh, that uh, will also call multiple loose body over, uh, around the joint and um, the deciding, uh, sometimes in weight bearing joint that can be present with a subluxation also but most common joint we affect um, uh, in, uh, in, in is in the foot tarsometatarsal joint and uh, the most common cause is diabetes and uh, for cervical spine mm, injury generally most common joint is shoulder and elbow now <coughs> when we are getting this type of uh, destructed joint and and uh, there is loose body and um, we have to <coughs> do a special in the uh, clinical assessment is this destructive joint is painful or not when we are uh, thi uh, we are thinking there's so much of destruction without any pain then we must keep in mind that it may be a sarcoid joint now for weight bearing bone uh, we have to do something because we need a stable uh, mm, uh, joint otherwise it can and cause more destruction of the joint patient cannot be aware and, and uh, if patient uh, try to be aware then it can mm, cause pressure sore also so get rid of that problem we can uh, <coughs> do uh, on, uh, a arthrodesis same as uh, the tb knee uh, like uh, this ankle um, uh, we can do a arthrodesis by a retrograde nailing pro procedure same we can do the debiament we can do the arthrosis but never go replacement because uh, a joint where um, uh, there is no sensation if we go, go for replacement then can cause a devastating problem like dislocation or implant failure or early implant failure etc but in the upper uh, limb like uh, shoulder and uh, and uh, elbow we should not uh, go do too much because uh, <coughs> this joint actually uh, need no uh, extra care uh, when the diagnosis uh, is confirmed that uh, we, are we are dealing with a neuropathic joint then um, it is useless to do uh, do any operation or it is um, uh, it may harm uh, or it may endanger the patient um, not only the limb um, as well as the life also so better um, go f um, to the treatment of the the region um, um, that is like uh, in case of um, cervical uh, syringomyelia which can treat it with gamma knife therapy or any type of therapy or I I if um, the patient is suffering from diabetes we have to manage the diabetes as well or it is patient for syphilis we have to treat the syphilis or related, related causes so it is as a all total of sarcoid joint 
but there is a staging uh, the regarding the joint destruction we can add uh, it like uh, just uh, involvement stage one and with um, some loose bodies stage two stage three some uh, joint destruction the stage four is total joint destruction aluminum displacement or or subluxation and uh, uh, that's all but uh, i think this is not for the um, extra ad. we just uh, know and the, uh, the joint um, jo the name and the basic thing regarding the sarcot joint or it is also called neuropathic joint thank you